Here we go. All right, welcome back, everybody. We are with the guys from Bread and Board, which I have to say is like one of my favorite restaurants. You guys do such a nice job. Um, I have not had your apple pie, though. So Jonathan's here to kind of walk us through. Well, I'm sorry you haven't had my apple pie. I know. I mean, it, it is fantastic. <laughs> um, so uh, apple pie or any pie, yeah. what you want to do is uh, it main ingredients is your crust obviously mm -hmm. so we've got some homemade crust homemade crust homemade crust okay. i slaved over that you did um, you can know, i ask time? real quick yeah. because i feel like the store-bought crust is pretty good these days yes. but this is going to be what's it, going to be the real difference make it, it worth it you know it's just it feels more authentic i mean it's the consistency is a little different okay but um that is because it's not processed through, through right machine, exactly right? Okay. so i don't know if you can see but you can actually see the chunks of butter and, yeah. and things Ooh. in the, in the, in the Anytime dough. you have chunks um, of butter, you're in good but shape. <laughs> the, the thing about a pie, and what I always suggest, or what we do in Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. is we usually make your pie crust the night before. I always recommend making your desserts the night before. Okay. Because you know, you're busy. You're busy on Thanksgiving. Yeah. You don't want people running around and you're trying to put lots of things in the oven. Um, but while you're making your crust, mm -hmm. make enough and do double the batch, and then you can also bake a quiche. So you oh. have you have breakfast, breakfast ready, yeah, so no dessert. one can bother you all day. So I love it. for me, my favorite there's a couple different ways everybody's got a way to do an apple pie um so i do is i can't ever decide if i want an apple pie or a pumpkin pie mm -hmm. and so i change up my apple pie a little bit to make okay. it taste a little pumpkin -y. oh okay. and the difference is because at apple pie generally you get your cinnamon you've got nutmeg mm -hmm. ginger and cardamom um but the big difference in allspice, uh, the difference between the apple pie and a pumpkin pie is cardamom goes away and you add cloves. Oh, really? So it's just a little warmer. So cardamom out of the take, pumpkin pie. Take cardamom out okay. and then add cloves, cloves in. Gotcha. And now you've got a little sense of a, uh, a little pumpkin in. Oh, you know, I love like it. Okay. Spice. So I, so you start with your, your dough. You go ahead and get it kind of ready. All right. And I then we get things. our apples. And we're still cutting, but we can throw things together. Right. Okay. Um, we usually, depending on how sweet you want it. Like right. I said, everybody's got a, a preference. I do about a third a cup of, of sugar. Let me ask real quick, um, the green apples, Granny Smith, the Granny best? Smith. Okay. Granny right. Smith, the best. Um, they hold up better, they got a tangier texture. Okay. And so you wanna make sure you use those. All right, so um, a little sugar? You do about a third a cup of sugar. Okay. Um, I always like to pre-mix my spices. Oh, easy. It, because then you, you, you know, I don't know if you do coffees in the morning or uh, if you make anything, but yeah. if you do any cinnamon toast or pumpkin lattes, right. you pre-mix your, your spice you and use it, it all everything. the time. Yeah. Gotcha. And okay. you can change it up. So if you're like, oh, I like it a little more clovey, you add a little more clove. Whatever but, your preference. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You get used to it How and then you, you like have? the flavor. I use about a, t a teaspoon and a half, but we're just going to eyeball it here. Okay. And you want to you want the aroma. Maybe I'm going to eyeball it. There we go. All right, we don't have a ton of time, so let's get going. So we're going to mix we're this gonna up. We're going to mix this together. And that's going to is that going to create gonna a little it. bit of juice too, isn't it? It will. Okay. But you want you want to make sure that you have it semi dry when you put it in the apple pie. Oh. Okay. Because that's why you we're going to add a little bit of flour. Oh, Sorry, even we more. Got a flour okay. Here. We're going to do about two tablespoons of flour. Really? Okay. And the reason is you want it to create a roux. You want it to create yeah. the thickness. You're not and making you, a cobbler. It's a not, pie. You're not. <laughs> and if you if it gets too wet, you'd see how it drips over the yeah. side yeah. and it burns and you got the smoking in your kitchen. You don't want any of that. And then you want to throw a pinch of salt in here. Okay. Um, and then and you are you going to brown your crust first or no? not even? No. Okay. You don't need to. So you just throw this directly in. You go into the oven at uh, 400 to 425, right. depending on what you like. Okay. And it goes for about a half hour. Then you take some foil and cover the edges and let it go the last 15 minutes, pull it off and you're good. I love it. Okay, what if people like warm apple pie? <laughs> you can, can you stick it back in the oven just really quickly? You send before? them home <laughs> and you invite them to come back later. No, right. um, you, you, <laughs> once own. you pull your Thanksgiving turkey out, right. you just put your oven on warm. Okay. I mean, you most, you're gonna do it anyway because right. you're gonna throw other things in the exactly. oven and keep it warm. Okay. So pull everything out, you're having dinner, Put your warm apple pie. Put your apple pie in warm. Don't yes. turn it on hot. Don't turn it on hot. Don't um, burn and it. And then you're gonna. Then you'll be fine. Okay. So. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I so you're enjoyed welcome. it. Welcome. All right. We got some cooking over there going as well. So we are gonna walk you through the entire Thanksgiving dinner. We have the turkey in the oven. We have dessert about to go in the oven. And there's a lot more coming up on News for Jack. So stick with us because we have tips to make sure that you don't make any mistakes this Thanksgiving.